the 4th of July, 1776, the Declaration of Independence was approved by the Continental Congress. Why is this so important? Well, for most of recorded human history, dating all the way back to around 4000 BC with Sumerian cuneiform on clay tablets in the Mesopotamian Valley and Egyptian hieroglyphics, the most common form of government on planet Earth is kings. And as the years would go, the kingdoms would get bigger and bigger and bigger until you had Cyrus of Persia and the Egyptian pharaohs and the Chinese emperors and Alexander the Great and Julius Caesar and then the Byzantine emperors and the Muslim sultans and then the uh, Genghis Khan, Attila the Hun and finally the King of Spain, France and England. The King of England was the most powerful monarch in all of recorded human history. They never, the sun never set on the British Empire and the English Empire controlled India, a quarter of the world's population, Hong Kong, New Zealand, Australia, countries in Africa and America. And when America decided to break away from the most powerful king, it wanted to run in the opposite direction. And the founders of America did something unique. They made the people the king and the politicians became the servants. And so that's why Ronald Reagan said the American Revolution is the most uh, important revolution in world history. Reagan said all other revolutions simply exchanged one set of rulers for another. So you see revolutions in Latin America or the Middle East or in different countries in Europe where they would get rid of one king and they'd get another one. And then that king would turn bad and they would rebel against him and get another king. America made the people the king. When the Declaration of Independence stated that all men are endowed by their creator with certain inalienable rights. To me, that is the most astounding political statement in world history that you don't get rights from a king. For most of history, there was what is called the divine right of kings, where the king claimed that he was God's representative and God gave the rights and power to the king and the king dispensed those rights and powers to whoever he wanted. No, America, the rights came directly from the creator to you. And you choose the political leaders for a period of time. You vote them in, you vote them out. They're your servants. So imagine for a moment you're visiting an Old Testament king and you're going through the streets of Jerusalem and you're seeing crimes and murders and rapes and you get into the king's chamber and he has his head in his hand and he's saying, I wish somebody would fix this mess. And you tap him on the shoulder and say, excuse me, you're the king. You are responsible to God to fix this mess. That's like somebody in America watching TV saying all these crimes and terrible things happening. I wish somebody would come along and fix this mess. Hello, reach through the TV tube and tap you on the shoulder. You are the king in America. The politicians are your servants. And if something's going wrong, you are accountable to God directly. So you get your rights and your privileges from God. That part's great, but you are responsible to God for what happens. That part's serious. So in America, when the founding fathers had the Declaration of Independence, in July 4th, 1776, it was the most revolutionary document that had been written in the world. Daniel Webster said, miracles do not cluster and what has happened once in 6,000 years may not happen again. Hold on to the Constitution for if the American Constitution should fail, there'll be anarchy throughout the world. We have something very rare and unique and it started on July 4th, 1776.